Numerous shower and thunderstorm activity is affecting practically the entire state, especially the Gulf Coastline. Zooming in a little bit closer to Tampa, Tropical Saint Storm Alberto is the first named storm of the hurricane season. While it remains offshore, residents here are still very nervous. Clear water. Clearing out finally in Pinellas Park, you are almost out of the woods. Last bit of showers and thunderstorms are moving through your area as we speak. Brooksville. It's hard to believe that there's more rain in the forecast for today. This past week alone, we have received over five inches of rain. Many people are wondering. I wouldn't be surprised to see hail, gusty winds, dangerous cloud to ground lightning. I mean, look at this. It's a large batch of moisture continuing. Lightning has always been a big concern for boaters and for a very good reason. This past week alone, five boats have been struck by lightning, two of which have caught on fire. Good evening, everybody. I am meteorologist Stephen Dreyer, and will this rain ever go away? Stay tuned to that forecast in just a moment or so. Currently, we have this large amount of moisture off the Gulf Coast of our region, and we are receiving this the fringe effects the absolute fringe effects which have been giving us constant rain the past five days, five inches of rain. Currently across the region, 81 degrees in downtown and to the east, 84. To the north of us where they've been receiving constant moisture and all the rain and cloud cover, it's been slightly cooler, 75 degrees. High temperature for today, 89 degrees. When we had some bits of sunshine, we were able to squeak out a few more degrees. And check it, look at our rain bucket. Almost one and a quarter inches of rain. Unbelievable. Overnight, keep the umbrella handy. The continued chance of shower and thunderstorm activity. High temperatures for the overnights will be in the upper 70s to low 80s. Tomorrow, more rain. What can I tell you guys? The chances of showers and thunderstorms continuing. Temperatures a little bit close to average high temperature in Mayanka City, 90 degrees. What's going on across the rest of the country? We have over here in the Central Plains, a large amount of shower and thunderstorm activity, which is going to be approaching the Chicagoland area. Sweeping cold front going across New England, causing a little bit of fallish feel. Out in Dallas, continuing to be a scorcher, unbelievable heat and humidity, but that's normal for this time of year. On the bay, what do we got going on? 5 to 15 knots, sea is 1 to 2 feet, a little bit of choppiness, Gulf temperature, a balmy 87 degrees. All right, breaking it down for the rest of tonight. Keep the umbrella handy. We have to be dodging some stray showers and thunderstorms. 82 degrees. And for tomorrow, what we got going on here? Temperatures closer to normal. With high temperatures around 90. Lows in the upper 70s. And take a look at this. The rest of the work week, we are going to say goodbye to those showers and thunderstorms. And temperatures for the rest of the work week are going to be low 90s and upper 70s overnight. I am meteorologist Stephen Dreyer. Back to you at the news desk. We do have some good news to report tonight. Once Tropical Storm Chris continues to weaken at this time, it will not be threatening us at any point. Now let's take you to the storm. The remnants of Chris are located about 70 miles east-northeast of central Cuba. Shower and thunderstorm activity remains limited and the system shows no real signs of regeneration. Winds are sustained at 25 miles per hour. The system is forecasted to continue moving westward during the next few days as an area of low pressure, but should not bring any significant weather to anyone. The remnants of Chris will then spread some rain to South Florida, including the Keys. It is possible that once this low pressure does reach the Gulf, it could regenerate. We will definitely keep you posted on that. I am meteorologist Stephen Dreyer. Now back to you at the news desk. A tornado rips through a Florida neighborhood this past weekend, damaging 25 homes. Residents spend today picking up the pieces of their lives. From the air, it looks like it did after a summer of hurricanes. Homes knocked off their foundations. Only this devastating destruction came not from a hurricane, but from a weekend tornado. It was wild. It was very fast. It was unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this. Five people in this northwest Palm Bay community were injured from the tornado. The twister cut a square mile path of destruction. Twenty-five homes were damaged. Cleanup crews spent today trying to help residents get life back to normal. The twister tore off roofs, pushed out windows and knocked trees onto cars. While most here were shaken hard by the tornado, many are just thankful to be alive. Thank God. Thank God that we all survived and, and that we, that there, there was no damage. I mean, there was damage to the, the houses and everything like that, but thank God there was no damage to life. One unusual twist to this story. When police came upon a house where they thought someone was trapped inside, 
they found something unusual. No one inside, but 54 marijuana plants growing and enough equipment to keep them alive. Temporary shelters have been provided to those residents who were affected by this weekend's tornado. Many of them have told us that they will begin to rebuild as soon as possible. I am meteorologist Stephen Dreyer. Now back to you at the news desk.